The thought of losing his dog was really sad, but he couldn't stand to see his dog in pain. Okay, Dad, let's bring him to the doctor, Josh said, his voice shaky. He hugged his dog, Snickers, and felt really worried about what might happen. As time went by, Josh's hug got weaker, and when he finally let go, his whole body went floppy for a moment and he fainted. His skin looked pale and wet, and he was breathing slowly and with difficulty. His eyes were closed. Josh fainting made his dad and Nod really scared. They held him and called his name loudly, with their hearts beating fast. Peter quickly picked up the phone and called for help from the emergency service. When Peter arrived, he saw Josh happily playing with Snickers in the backyard. Snickers was running around in circles, wagging his tail with joy. Peter watched this loving moment between his son and their furry friend. After a while, he went up to Josh and put his arm around the boy's shoulders. Josh looked at his father with concern in his eyes. Peter started speaking, his voice shaky. Josh's heart raced with worry and he asked his dad what was going on. Peter sighed deeply, struggling to find the right words. He told Josh that Snickers was not feeling well, that he was sick and needed treatment from the vet. They had to take Snickers to the vet and leave him there until he got better. Josh was shocked and tears started flowing down his face. He didn't want Snickers to be away from him because Snickers was his best friend. Peter hugged Josh tightly, trying to comfort him and reassured him that they would do their best to bring Snickers back home as soon as possible. Still sobbing, Josh nodded in understanding. He asked his dad to promise that he would take care of Snickers and bring him back home. Peter held Josh's face gently, looked into his eyes and made a heartfelt promise to take care of Snickers as if he were part of their family and to bring him back home once he was better. Josh clung to his father, feeling the love and support he offered. It was a promise that bound them, a promise that they would do whatever it took to keep Snickers healthy and happy. And so father and son shared a moment of pain and determination as they prepared to face the temporary separation from their loyal friend. They were determined to fulfill the promise they made to Snickers, no matter what. As days passed, Josh and Snickers cherished every moment together. They strolled together, played ball in the park, and even had beach outings. Josh was determined to make Snickers happy before they had to part. One night, in the silent darkness, Josh's muffled cries filled the room. He lay on his bed, eyes swollen from constant tears. His long-standing illness had returned, leaving him feeling powerless. Beside him lay Snickers, his faithful four-legged companion, gazing at Josh with concern, sensing his suffering. Whispering, Josh gently stroked Snickers' fur and said, You're here with me, aren't you, Snickers? You're the only one who never left me. Snickers responded with a reassuring bark conveying his unwavering support. The next morning, as the sun rose, sadness still lingered in Josh's home. His father, Peter, entered the room and saw his son's condition. He sat down beside Josh, his face filled with worry, and said, Josh, I understand it's tough, but we must take Snickers to the vet. Josh looked at his father, tears in his eyes, and said, Dad, I can't bear to lose Snickers. He means everything to me. Peter gently held Josh's hand and replied, I know, son. I understand. But Snickers needs our help to get better. Josh reluctantly nodded, knowing his father was right. The idea of losing his dog was devastating, but he couldn't bear to see him suffer. Okay, Dad, let's take him to the vet, agreed Josh. His voice choked up. Peter hugged Josh tightly, trying to hold back tears. You're a brave boy, Josh. Let's give Snickers a chance to get well again. And so father and son prepared to face an emotionally challenging journey, determined to do whatever it took to maintain the unbreakable bond they had with Snickers. Peter's car was silent as he drove toward Josh's house. The air was heavy with sadness and determination. He knew he had a difficult conversation ahead, one that would break his son's heart. Naiva was also struggling to maintain composure. She wanted to be strong for her son, but letting him go was so difficult. She had been his rock for so many years, and now she had to let him go and find his own way. She wanted to tell him that everything would be okay, but she knew she couldn't promise that. All she could do was hug him and tell him that she loved him. The three of them stood there in braids for what felt like an eternity. They knew this was the beginning of a new chapter in their lives, and that it would be challenging. But then something happened. Josh's embrace became looser as time passed, and when he finally let go, his entire body went limp for a second, and he fainted. His skin was pale and damp, and his breathing was weak and labored. His eyes were closed. Josh's fainting spell sent Peter and Nanja into a panic. They held him, calling his name desperately, with racing hearts. Peter grabbed the phone and dialed for emergency services. While they waited for help to arrive, Peter and Nadja took care of Josh as best they could. They laid him on his side, keeping him comfortable while anxiously awaiting news. The paramedic arrived quickly, assessing the situation with professionalism. He began administering first aid to Josh while reassuring Peter and Nadja. 
He mentioned that Josh's fainting could have been caused by the emotional and physical stress of the past few days. As the paramedic tended to Josh, Peter, and Nanja exchanged worried glances. They felt guilty for letting Josh go through so many recent challenges. However, the paramedic reassured them once again, saying that Josh was receiving the necessary treatment and they shouldn't blame themselves. Josh was taken to the hospital for a more detailed evaluation. Peter and Nanja accompanied him, concerned about his condition. While waiting for the test results, they reflected on the intense past days. Meanwhile, Snickers was with Peter at the vet undergoing medical examinations. The vet explained that Snickers was suffering from a severe illness that required immediate treatment. Peter agreed to start the treatment, but his mind was torn between Snickers and Josh. In the hospital, doctors determined that Josh needed rest and intensive care to fully recover. He was emotionally drained and needed time to recuperate both mentally and physically. Peter and Nadja decided to take turns between the hospital and the veterinary clinic to care for Josh and Snickers. It was an agonizing situation, but they were determined to give their best to both. While Josh was in the hospital, he underwent a period of deep reflection. He realized how much Snickers meant to him and how attached he had become to his loyal friend. Their friendship had faced incredible challenges and Josh knew he needed to recover to be by Snickers' side again. However, fate had an unexpected twist for all of them. While Josh was in the hospital, he received shocking news. It was a phone call from Peter, who was at the veterinary clinic with Snickers. The news Peter shared left Josh stunned and emotional. They found out that Snickers was responding well to treatment and his condition was improving. The illness that had affected Snickers was regressing and he was beginning to recover. Josh couldn't believe the news. It was as if a miracle had happened. The news of Snickers' recovery brought a ray of hope to the darkness surrounding his own situation. He knew he still had a long road ahead in his own recovery, but now he had an extra reason to fight. The idea of reuniting with Snickers filled him with determination. While Josh continued his recovery journey in the hospital, he kept a photo of Snickers on his bedside table, looking at it every day as a source of inspiration. He was sure that when he finally recovered, he and Snickers would have many exciting adventures together. After weeks of recovery in the hospital, Josh was finally discharged. He was stronger both physically and emotionally and determined to reunite with Snickers. Peter and Nadja took him to the veterinary clinic where Snickers was recovering. When they entered the room, Snickers jumped with joy at seeing his friend Josh. It was an emotional reunion with licks and wagging tails, demonstrating the deep affection they had for each other. The doctor said that even though Snickers was getting better, he still needed regular checkups and care. Josh promised to take really good care of him with lots of love and attention. When Josh and Snickers finally saw each other again, they both looked really happy. Josh's eyes were shining with joy and Snickers barked happily. Peter and Nadja, Josh's parents, were also there. They had tears in their eyes as they watched the beautiful moment when Josh and Snickers reunited. Josh knelt down beside Snickers and gave him a big hug. He told Snickers how much he missed him and how worried he was. Snickers responded by barking excitedly, as if he was saying he felt the same way. Peter put his hand on Josh's shoulder and said he felt like it was a miracle. He smiled and told Josh not to underestimate the power of love and determination. While Josh petted Snickers, he looked at his parents and thanked them for everything they did to bring them all back together.